Uh, I would sum up the last couple of months as pretty full on actually. Uh, obviously uh, headed over to Singapore uh, with the, not with the team, but for the World Championships and my role was very different as a, as a commentator for ABC Radio. So um, yeah, it was a bit of a challenging um, experience I guess. Uh, doing, a, uh, doing radio commentating is much different from anything I've done on the TV. There's a lot more talking involved obviously. There's no pictures just to, to let play out. So um, that was a different challenge but well, what an amazing experience to be over in Singapore while, while the girls did such a great job. So beautiful experience. A bit emotional for me at different times but just fantastic to be there and I guess my life outside of netball was um, ticking along quite nicely as you mentioned Bianca and I have started up a new company um, which we're working with schools and corporates and uh, different different groups it's only in the very early stages just yet so we're really hoping to grow that and um, another great challenge that I've been um, offered to be involved in is sitting on the board uh, with Eddie Maguire of the, of the Melbourne Stars so lots of um, different things happening for me no secret that I'm getting towards the end of my career. I'm not exactly sure when that is going to be, but um, certainly it's something I've been thinking about for the last little while about you know the things I want to uh, put into my life when the the big chunk of what I do is playing and preparing for games. So um, you know when that time comes that I'm not doing that, what what things I, I want to put into my life outside of that. So um, I think it'll be a really beautiful time for my family and I. Um, you know, because I've committed so much time to that, so allow you know a bit of time, just a bit of downtime for that side of things. Um, but certainly, um, you know, the business that I'm doing, these other things that I'm throwing in there, just to um, keep myself feeling challenged, because that is what I've one of the things I've really loved about being an elite athlete is that you're constantly being challenged as an individual and working together as a team. And I don't want that just to completely stop after I, I finish playing. Yeah, so Pivot Performance is a company that Bianca Chatfield and I have started up. Um, it is a personal development and leadership um, company that we run workshops and uh, presentations for a range of different groups. We've got some funding through the government to run um, a pilot program in a few secondary schools this year, so we've just begun doing that in those schools, which is really exciting. Uh, we've done some work with a few different corporate groups, um, working with different levels from, from managers right down to, um, you know, people who have just begun in the business and uh, we're hoping to expand into some elite sporting teams as well so um, trying to cover off quite a few different things there um, and you know because it is so new we, we want to keep those options open and hopefully we'll be able to um, you know I guess we found a real passion for that outside of sport we feel like the lessons we've learnt within netball and, and leading teams um, have, have really given us some, some great lessons that can be applied outside of life. So we're pretty excited about passing those sort of messages on and um, assisting others. You know, we write whatever program um, is needed for, I guess, the, the level um, that we're talking with and dealing with. And, you know, sometimes we work with companies and they've got some themes that they run with and quite often, strangely, they align quite well with um, elite sporting teams as well. The sort of things you want to try and achieve with teamwork and that sort of things applies quite well in the corporate sense too. So um, whatever, I guess, philosophies or things that they're trying to align in their business, we can help reinforce some of those um, messages and, and ideas through the experiences we've had. Actually, I've done um, some work with John Wiley, who is the chair of the MCC Trust, and um, he's sitting on the board of the Melbourne Stars as well. Um, and uh, I, he just approached me about um, the idea of being involved, and yeah, it's just, I mean, amazing opportunity for me to be working with some incredible people, and um, I guess expanding my area of um, knowledge. And as I say, I, I like pushing myself out of my comfort zone, so. Looking forward to that challenge. Sitting on a board is a new thing for me, so um, hopefully um, they won't be too hard on me, but I think um, in terms of just uh, the, the people that we've got together on the, on the board of the stars and just the excitement that is around creating a new team and being involved in a new competition is something that I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, I think so. Um, obviously, they've got a lot of fantastic people around, but certainly I've had some experience, obviously, in that what we went through a couple of years ago in creating the Melbourne Vixens and the challenges that go along with that and, you know, building momentum around a new brand. But I'm hoping that, you know, with 
my experiences outside of that and, you know, bringing a female perspective on things um, might be nice because, you know, one of the, the things that obviously 2020 Cricket are trying to do is, you know, make it a really welcoming environment and um, one that's uh, exciting for the whole family to go to. So I guess having that female perspective on things is really important.